I'm Julie Bartke with Session Update. Federal tax conformity, repealing the warehousing tax, and increasing the working family tax credit. These are provisions included in the Senate tax bill, which was rolled out Wednesday morning. DFL tax leaders later detailed their bill to the media, and the GOP responded with its own proposal. Here is a portion of each plan. Uh, we are repealing the taxes that were instituted last year. Uh, my expectation would not be to go beyond that other than with regard to the conformity. Um, you know, you think about where we are in the best financial shape that we've been in since 1999. Uh, in the 2000-2001 legislative session, there was a lot of hoorah about giving it all back. We went through a decade now of deficits and unallotments, goodness knows what. Really, we don't want to go through that again. And so I think a little caution is in order. Uh, remember, these are forecasted dollars. None of these have actually been collected yet. So we just think that you need to really take a look at what you're doing and make sure that it's uh, fiscally responsible action. Um, the working family credit. We do think that there are uh, any number of initiatives out and about that we're trying to resolve with regard to uh, support for working families and workers. Uh, the uh, certainly the uh, uh, the minimum wage discussion that's ongoing, and we also believe that the um, the increase in the conforming and the increase in the working family credit that uh, comes to us from Senator Dietzik, who's to my left, um, is uh, a uh, a really positive step and a message to. Um, uh, low and modest income Minnesotans. Well, the point is that uh, with this projected surplus, this is not a gift to the state of Minnesota. This is taxpayers' money that we think is best used by taxpayers. We shouldn't collect it. We've already agreed to, to collect an additional, I guess it's something north of a billion dollars in increases in taxes that we enacted last year. Uh, we've got a spending package that is going to be paid for. We think we should work harder to reduce that spending, but we don't need to collect any more. So we are putting in place a proposal to say, let's, let's set that aside, let's make sure we don't collect it, and do that by a uh, reduction of the sales tax on a permanent basis. That's really what uh, we want to talk about. Way more tax than was necessary was raised with that $2.1 billion tax increase. And now that they've found that there's a surplus $1.2 billion, they say that they want to give tax relief, but only to the tune of $430 million. And so we would like to know, I think most Minnesotans would like to know, where's the rest? What we are uh, announcing today is that in addition to uh, what the uh, Democrats have proposed, uh, there's a significant amount of money that is still in the projected surplus. Those are monies we shouldn't collect. We want to return to the people of the state, give back, if you will, their power to spend their own money. We shouldn't collect it. And so we are proposing a significant sales tax cut, uh, uh, reducing the rate from 6.85 to 6.375. Uh, we, that is a, about a, uh, uh, I can't remember the number here, 200 mil, uh, $362 million of taxes that we are proposing not to collect with sales tax. In addition to that, we have a proposal to spend $200 million in transportation. Some of that would come from a bill that Senator Peterson has that would uh, call for the efficiencies that were announced when we did this uh, gas tax increase a few years ago. Uh, and part of it would come from an abatement of collection of sales tax on the part of the DOT. Uh, we also are uh, agree to saying that the Democrats' repeal of business to business should be a retroactive repeal, not just uh, prospectively going forward. Uh, we have the elimination of the marriage penalty and the full conformity of the federal income tax. And we also uh, agree that we should undo the death tax and uh, the estate tax uh, uh, as well. Uh, we also, of course, have agreed to spend the, the amount to do the 5% campaign. The $400 million Senate tax relief package will be vetted on Thursday morning in the Taxes Committee. And you can follow that committee by following us and our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter accounts.